What is up budget builders? My name is Trill and today we have a lot to cover in this video where we typically talk about the fourth stimulus package, things going on around the world as well as sometimes we cover the stock market. And in this video specifically today we want to talk about Senator Christine Sinema after blocking the passing of the Voting Rights Bill Act and the Build Back Better bill a couple of weeks ago. Christine Sinema is now being censored by the leaders in her Democratic Party. Most Democrats may be happy of this particular news, but the question is, will the same thing happen to Senator Joe Manchin as well, as both of them play key roles in failing the American people on more stimulus relief aid? Also, we have a few people that may be receiving a $5,000 stimulus check later this year. I'm going to tell you guys exactly who would qualify for one of these stimulus checks. And last but not least, guys, hey, there have been talks that the Build Back Better Act bill will likely have to be split up into multiple pieces. We heard from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on how she is optimistic about the new plan to pass the fourth stimulus package later this year. But first, if you are interested in any of these particular topics today and you want to be a part of this channel, be so kind to go ahead and subscribe to it. It's totally free. And if you end up liking today's video, then go ahead and hit that like button for us. It really helps out this channel. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay guys, real quick, I wanted to ask you for your support on my new YouTube channel that will be launching sometime this month, and it's called Budget Bill Finance, and I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, guys, so I need your help. I am going to be talking about on this channel about how to grow your wealth, how to invest in stocks, as well as how to invest in real estate, as well as showing you guys exactly what I'm doing outside of YouTube. So, if you want to be a part of that channel, be so kind and go ahead and subscribe to it today. I hope to see you guys there. Now, that link will be down below in the description. Well, guys, lately there has been a surge in people calling into work being sick. Either people are calling in because they are sick from COVID-related issues or they are taking care of someone that has COVID-related issues. And about 6% of Americans have been calling in as of recently. And this article talks about it, America's Big Sick Out, which recently they just reached a record 8.8 .8 million workers that called out with COVID in the first two weeks of 2020 and new jobless claims increased to their highest level since July. Nearly 9 million people have called out sick with COVID-19 in the early part of January, staggering number and a blow to the businesses that have already grappling with a labor shortage. Now, the Census Bureau Household Pulse Survey released on Wednesday showed that 8.8 .8 million people reported not being at work because of coronavirus-related reasons between December the 29th and January. January the 10th, and that was well up from the previous 3 million people who called in sick from December the 1st through December the 13th, and that was before Omicron wave actually struck. And it wasn't clear from the survey how many of the workers were ill from symptoms or isolated due to close contacts of someone else being positive. But so far, we know that around 8.8 .8 million people have had to call in sick because of COVID. Now, in regards to COVID, hey, the president has announced that he is ordering 500 million N95 mask and he is going to be distributing them to Americans as free of charge. Now this particular article talks about these free N95 masks will be distributed in Illinois sometime next week and here is exactly how you can receive one of those. Now it says that each resident will be limited to three masks per person to ensure broad access to the program according to the White House official. And so far, if you live in Illinois, you can receive one of these N95 masks and you can go to these particular places right here on the list, such as Albertsons, Costco, CPESN USA, CVS, Good Neighbor Pharmacy, Health Mart Pharmacies, Hy-Vee, Leader Net, Mayer, The Kroger Company, Piggly Wiggly, Schnucks, Walgreens, as well as Walmart. Now, those are just some of the places where you can receive one of these free N95 masks for you or someone in your house household. Now, the government has not released information as to regards to the other states being able to receive one of these masks, but they did come out and state that sometime next week, the government or the Biden administration will announce how they can receive or individuals can receive some of these free N95 masks. 
And also, just to remind you guys that they were also offering free COVID tests. Now, you can go to the website, covidtest.gov, where you can order those free COVID tests to be mailed out to your home. Or you can go to the website, which is sponsored by the United States Postal Service, which is USPS, which I will put that on the screen right here. In both of those places, you can order your free COVID-19 test to be mailed to you at home. Moving on, guys. Hey, the recent polls or survey just was released and it shows where the President Biden's approval rating hits a new all time low. President Biden's approval rating hit an all time new low in the latest Associated Press for public affairs research poll, which is a sign that most Americans disapprove of the way that President Biden is handling his job as president one year into his term. Now, 43% of respondents said that somewhat or strongly approve of the way that Biden is handling his job as president compared to 56% who said that they somewhat or strongly disapprove of Biden's performance. Now, the poll was conducted from January the 13th through January the 18th and reflects the president's lowest approval rating since he entered into office. Now, Biden entered office with a 61% approval rating in January of 2021, which fell to 48% by October and December. Now that the number is slipping even further, now the new numbers come after the difficulty in the few months past for President Biden, who faced a host of difficulties in the second half of his first term. A surge in COVID-19 cases, the United States' messy withdrawal from Afghanistan, and the rising inflation prices in this country. Now, Gallup reported earlier this week that President Biden's first year approval rate came in at 48.9%, which is lower than many other presidents, but ranked higher than his immediate predecessor, which was former President Donald Trump. Now, that's pretty shocking, I will say. But anyways, guys, President Biden was asked about his wanting poll numbers during his marathon press conference on Wednesday and pressed on how he plans to win back moderates as well as independents who supported him in 2020. But according to the polls, are now unhappy with how he is handling his job as the president of the United States. But tell me, guys, what do you think? How do you think President Biden is performing so far in this country? Now, I want to hear from all of you out there whether you are a Republican or whether you are a Democrat or whether you are just an independent, please let me know down in the comment section and let me know exactly how you think President Biden has performed over the last 365 days of him being in office. Now, I will say one reason he has gotten bad results in the polls is because he was unable to pass the large Build Back Better Bill Act in the Senate, as well as here recently, the large voting rights bill as well. But regarding the BBB or the Build Back Better agenda, hey, we did hear from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and she stated that, hey, obviously they can't get the support from the two senators, which is Senator Joe Manchin and Senator Christine Sinema on supporting the Build Back Better Bill Act in the Senate. So therefore, they are just going to go back into the table and they are going to have to retool the bill in order to get it passed. And she said right here in this article that it may be very limited, but it is still very significant in order to pass this bill as well as the provisions that are included in it. Pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill. The president said, uh, I want to find as much common ground as I can in a bipartisan way when it comes to infrastructure. But I cannot limit my vision for America to what the Republicans will agree to in terms of roads and bridges, et cetera. That's important, but it's not all. So in this legislation, if we care about preserving the planet for future generations and clean air for them to breathe today and water to drink, we need to pass the reconciliation bill. So I would hope that that would be a major part of it. So what, what the president calls chunks, I would hope would be a major bill going forward. It may be more limited, but it is um, still significant. So yes, Pelosi believes that the bill needs to be retooled because obviously the provisions, having them all included into one bill is not going to get the support of two senators in Congress. But if they are able to split this bill up into several provisions, into several pieces, they feel that they are more likely to get the support of Senator Joe Manchin, which he has already supported some of these provisions within the bill. So Pelosi is optimistic that they can go ahead and pass this bill
bill if they go ahead and split it up and provide separate bills in the Senate in order to bring them in for a vote. They believe that they can get major support from Senator Joe Manchin on majority of these provisions. But some of the provisions such as the child tax credit as well as the family medical leave, those are the two sticking points in which Senator Joe Manchin is not willing to support. So guys, we could see this bill get reformed again and maybe they even change the name of this bill considering they are going to have to release several different pieces of it. So we should see more information about this here in the coming weeks, but I will continue to keep you guys posted on the updated information. And then we have here in some shocking news, guys, the Arizona Democrats have now censored Senator Christine Sinema for blocking the voting rights bill. Now, leaders of the Arizona Democratic Party voted on Saturday to censor the U.S. Senator Christine Sinema. Sinema is growing increasingly isolated from some of her party's most influential officials and donors. And it comes after she played a key role in scuttling voting rights legislation that many Democrats consider very very essential to preserving democracy in this country. And then we also have this article right here that says Arizona Democratic Party Executive Board Censors Cinema. So yes, this is huge, guys. And they put out a statement and said that, I want to be clear, the Arizona Democratic Party is a diverse coalition with plenty of room for policy disagreements. However, on the matter of the filibuster and the urgency to protect voting rights, we have been crystal clear in the choice between an archaic legislative norm and protecting Arizonians' right to vote. We choose the latter, and we always will. Arizona Democratic Party Chair Raquel Terran said in a statement, and she said that while she appreciated Cinema's efforts in helping pass the bipartisan infrastructure legislature and the American Rescue Plan, she noted that the consequences were too large and far reaching if legislation protecting the right to vote was not passed. Now, while we take no pleasure in this announcement, the ADP executive board has decided to formally censor Senator Sinema as a result of her failure to do whatever it takes to ensure the health of our democracy, Taryn said. So yes, guys, this is some major news now. And now the Democratic Party is now going after Senator Christine Sinema. But I will say the biggest question that everyone wants to know is that will this same thing happen to Senator Joe Manchin? I mean, everyone wants to know if this is going to happen to him because everyone is voting for it to happen. Yes, they do want to censor Senator Joe Manchin because they believe he is the number one culprit as far as passing legislation for the Biden administration. But I will say whether you are on the Democratic side or whether you're on the Republican side, hey, you have different feelings about this whole situation all together because if you are struggling right now or let's say you are a social security recipient you are more likely to be in favor of passing the bill back better bill and if you are a republican you are probably excited because senator joe manchin is helping the republican party because they are not involved in regards to anything that is going on in washington right now because the democratic party is trying to leave and do everything without any gop support right now. So the Republicans are just sitting back clapping every time Senator Joe Manchin states that he is going to go against his own party. So again, guys, hey, this is what's going on right now in Washington as well as on Capitol Hill. But we will soon see sometime this week whether or not this same type of censorship is going to happen to Joe Manchin. And I will keep you guys posted as usual. But let's go ahead and talk about some stimulus checks, guys, because we do have this article that is offering or saying that individuals will be receiving up to $5,000 stimulus checks sometime this year. Now, it states that $5,000 from the IRS, which as tax season begins, some people may get a big payday. Now, tax filing season starts this coming Monday. And here are some tips from the IRS to speed up the process as well as to avoid some of the delays. Now, the filing season actually begins on Monday and the IRS has some tips that says that taxpayers should remember before submitting their returns if they want to avoid lengthy delays, especially for those anticipating 
anticipating a tax refund, such as a remainder of the child tax credit checks. But also guys, hey, they are talking about $5,000 from the IRS for a newborn child, at least for some individuals. Now, taxpayers who had a child join their family in 2021 could be in for an additional $5,000 from the IRS via the economic impact payments and the child tax credits. Now those payments were automatically sent to people in 2021 on previous tax returns. But if a family added a child, they would have no reason to report to the IRS until it was time to file their taxes. And that means that they may not have received any of the monthly child tax credit payments that they were eligible for in 2021, nor that they received the $1,400 stimulus payment for dependents. Now, under the child tax credit increase that was passed by Congress in 2021, parents with children up to the age of six years old would be eligible for a $3,600 stimulus check, and those with children ages from six to 17 years old would be eligible to get a $3,000 stimulus check. Now, presuming the parents fell within the income limits for stimulus and the child tax credit checks, and the child joined their family before the start of 2021, 22, then they could be getting up to $5,000 when they actually file their tax return for the 2021 tax season. Now that's $1,400 from the economic impact payment, which must be claimed as a recovery rebate credit and the full child tax credit amount can be owed to you this year. So yes, guys, if you did have a child in the year of 2021, or let's say you became a foster parent last year, or let's say you actually adopted someone or anything like that, or let's say you became a guardian of a child under the age of 17 years old, hey, you could be eligible to receive up to $5,000 in stimulus checks when you file your tax return for the 2021 tax season. So guys, that is some huge news because you might not even been expecting that you were going to receive any type of stimulus aid in the year of 2022. But now that I have reminded you guys that you could be eligible for one of these $5,000 stimulus checks, hey, that is some very exciting news, guys. So again, if you enjoy any of this information in this video today, I hope this information was helpful to you today on this video. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. Now, if you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more, hey, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit that like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.